In the previous episode, we had a little taste of uh, relations in October CMS. So we attached some images to our movie model. In this episode, we are going to tackle that a little bit further and create movie genres. So you can look at movie genres like something uh, like categories or tags. Just for movies, it makes more sense to create something called genres. But it's basically the same thing. So it's a categorization of a movie. So in this episode, we are going to tackle that. We are going to tackle the many-to-many -many relationship in October CMS and how you can make it. As you will see, it is not very straightforward, like you are maybe used to with WordPress or with Drupal or something like that, but it gives you much more control over what you are doing. So first of all, let's create our, our genres model. So we are going to go to Builder and then choose Movies. And in Movies, we are going to add another database. And that database is, of course, going to have an ID. It's going to be integer. Uh, it's going to be auto incremented and it's also our primary key for uh, this uh, model. So we add another column and that column is going to be genre title. It is going to be a string and uh, that's about it. Let's add another column. This one is going to be called slug. So don't forget to make slugs at the beginning so that you don't have to, it's, it is also going to be a string so that you don't have to do the same thing like we did for the movies because we didn't add the slug right away. So you would have to write another title. Okay, so that's it. This is our database for genres and we're going to call that table uh, movies genres. Save it. Save and apply. Okay, now we have to create a model for it. So we click on models and add a new model right here. So you, as you can see, this is our movie and we add a new model and we're going to call it genre. And the table is going to be movies genres. Okay. Now we have just like for the movies, we have forms and lists. And now I'm going to add another form. And that form is going to have a title. So the, so the label is going to be title. And field name for that is a genre title. Uh, and I'm going to have it left aligned. And I think that's it. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to create another field for our slug. It's going to be right aligned and uh, like we did for the slug for the movie, uh, we go to advanced, preset, choose the field to be genre title and the type is going to be slug. Save this. Okay. Now we go to our lists, add another list so that we have a, a list of our genres in, uh, in our backend. So the first field is going to be of course title. Type is text and another column. Actually, we don't even need another column. So we are go just going to sort it by title. Let it be searchable and sortable. Save this. And now we can go to backend menu. And we are going to add a sub item right here. And that item is going to have this tag uh, icon. Uh, the label is going to be genres. 
and I think that's it. We are going to add URL later. Save this. Now we go to our controllers and we add a new controller for our genres. It's going to use the genre model and the active menu is going to be genres. Uh, we are going to edit list control behavior form controller and reorder and click OK. And I think that should be it. Save this. I'm going to refresh this page. OK. And now I'm going to go to backend menu click on genres and try to add URL here. As you can see, it auto completes it and says watch learn movies genres. Click on this, save it. And now when, when we go uh, to our movies, now we have this genres right here. And if we create a genre, Actually, we can now create genres. So I can I can add something like action. Okay, now we have these three genres. But the problem right now is if we go to movies and let's say we go to Inception. We don't have a way to display those genres right here. So to do that, we are going to uh, have to create something called a pivot table. So let's say the pivot table is a middle ground between our movies table and our genres table. So in the pivot table, it might say something like, let's say the inception is a movie with the ID of one and it's an action movie. So the action movie, uh, action genre is also also has an ID of one. So in that table, we would just have those two IDs. So the movie one and the uh, the ID of the movie would be one and the ID of uh, the genre would also be one or or maybe three if it's comedy or maybe two if it's drama or whatever. So the pivot table serves as a link between those two models. And we are going to create that table right now. And later on, I'm going to show you how it uh, looks in the actual table once we get our uh, relations and once we get our links between those two models going so that it may be more clear to you. Also, uh, if you want to know more, more about relationships in October CMS, they are pretty much the same as you would get with the Laravel framework. Uh, you have this whole uh, relationship page in the documentation right here and you can check out everything you want to know about them right here. So in the builder, we just add a new table and we're going to call that uh, table movies genres. OK, and we add just two columns to it. As you will see, we don't add an ID column, just two columns. So the first column is going to be called movie ID. It's going to be an integer and the primary key. The second column is going to be genre ID. Integer and primary key. And that's it. We save it. Now you created your pivot table. As you will see, we don't need a model or controller or anything for that table. That table just serves as a link between movies and genres. Next thing we need to do, we are going to go to our models. We are going to go to movies, forms. And now we are going to add another uh, form field. and it's going to be a widget of relation. So we click on it and the field name is going to be genres. The label is going to be genres also. And since we want to display the titles of our genres, 
uh, we will just set the name column in relation sub tab uh, to be genre title. And that should be it. We just save this. And now if we go to movies and we go to inception, you can see the pretty much the same thing as uh, pretty much the same error like we had in the previous episode when it said that our images weren't defined. So their uh, movie model doesn't contain a definition for genres. So we have to go to our code editor to movies, uh, ja uh, movie, uh, actually movies, models, movie. And we had this relations right here. So these are ones for the images. So attach one, attach many. And now since we are using many to many relationship, so the movie can have many categories and the movies can belong to many categories. So we have many to many relationship right here. So we are going to have to use something similar to this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set that relation. So movie can belong to many genres. So a movie can be action comedy or a sci-fi drama or whatever. So now we have to, we said um, movie belongs to many genres. And now we have to set those uh, information so that the October knows what we are talking about. So first of all, we have to set the model that this movie is connected to. So the genre model and the genre model is watch, learn movies, models, genre. Next, we need to set the table that the October CMS can look up at that link. So our pivot table. So the name of the pivot table is in our builder. We can just copy this. And we had have to set an order that these genres are going to be displayed by. So I'm going to set it uh, to be uh, by genre title. Of course, I forgot to set the table right here. So table and then order. We save this and now if we go to movies, hmm, something went wrong. Okay, I forgot to put a semicolon right here. Okay, now if you go to inception, you now have these genres right here. So action, comedy and drama. Let's say it's action and drama and save this. So now uh, I'm going to go to our movie single HTM and display those genres. Okay, so we are now on our Inception movie. And what we're gonna do, we are going to create a title. Genres. And if we do something like record genres, we will see pretty much the same thing as we did with uh, uh, our images. So as you can see, it says ID one, genre title action, slug action, and then you got this pivot. So this is our pivot table. So what you need to do is uh, do pretty much the same thing as you would do for the images. So we would have to create a for each loop to get uh, our genres, so the title of our genres. So we set the variable to be genre in record genres. And now we just we have the access to that variable and we can display its title. 
put a br tag uh, at the end save it and as you can see we get action and drama okay so this is the way you would display that uh, next thing I just want to show you that pivot table in our actual database so if you take a look at our database, you can see that we have this watch, learn, movies, movies genre. So this is our pivot table. So if we go to browse the data and choose that table right here, you can see that we have this movie ID and genre ID. So the movie ID is one, it has a genre of three. So the genre ID of three is I think drama and the genre ID of one is action. So if we go uh, to our movies and um, go to Fight Club and set it to be action and comedy for example save it go to our database and refresh it you can see that now we have the movie ID of 2 which is Fight Club and it has a genre ID of uh, 2 also so this is the basic principle of how the pivot table works it just connects the movie with the genre that that movie is using okay so this is it for this video in the next video we are going to create reverse many-to-many -many relationship for our genres so when someone clicks on a genre for example let's say action it's going to take him to a page where it will display all the movies that are in that genre so for example if you go to genres action it will display inception or it will display Fight Club if that's action if that's an action movie. Okay, uh, please remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you like this video, please like it. If you like the channel or the content I put out, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you can ask me questions on Facebook or on Twitter or in the comments below or on my site. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.